No, that's always the key. Can you take advantage of another team's errors? And we're seeing them do that right now. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. O'Neal comes in for DeAndre Jordan. And it's Thompson in for Blake Griffin. Miller no good on the free throw. They've been looking at a source in the last few possessions. This is when they need to be patient, work the ball, and find a high percentage shot. I'm not sure which was better, the fast break or the steal that got it started. I think it was the defense, Steve, quite honestly. I mean, the whole play isn't even possible if he doesn't make the steal. I'm not sure if any play is going to top that one. Maybe the only play that could beat it is another alley-oop jam. Yep. Even then, it'd be hard to execute it any better than that one. The Clippers shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. It's stolen by Jones. Here's Kirilenko. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but drew the foul. It'll go to the line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. No good on the free throw. Kevin, it's disheartening to see them keep missing opportunities to extend the lead at the line. I mean, when you have a chance to put a team away from the line, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to give them a chance to come back on you. It's stolen by Jones. And now here comes Jones leading the break. Now Wade. He feeds it to Griffin. And it's blocked. And they get it back. Wade gets the bucket. Wade's got five now. Well, he's been scoring pretty well on just a few attempts. It might help them out if he was a bit more assertive. Back to Jones. Here's Insanity. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. You know, it's really the kind of game you expect from him, guys. I mean, extremely efficient. Taking a lot of good shots. Wade outside. He passes to Griffin. Smith outside. He's against Miller. Smith with it, and it's Miller picking him up. Nice shot by Smith. He's got 16. Guys, he's really shot the ball well. It's definitely not his fault they find themselves trailing in this one. There's Miller with the three, and another three for Houston. And the damage they're doing from three-point range here in the second half is amazing. Yeah, I mean, they're always a threat to spray home some threes now, but not like this. Now here's Wade. Five points in the game. And it's sent back by Bogut. Fires the three. And it's Smith missing. Houston's gotten all four of the three-point shots to go down since halftime. They're lighting it up here. Not stop. No way to stop that. I mean, there's nothing you can do when he's coming at him like that. Well, that's right, Clark. Uh, Steve, he is a dangerous, dangerous player. Yeah, especially when he gets to that launching pad right there in the lane. I mean, a pretty one-handed finish. That was nice. Carter sets the pick for Griffin, and he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. Griffin's got eight. That's going to be important for this team to fight over the top of screens defensively. Yeah, you got to tag him and stay right close to him because with his touch, he doesn't need much space to get his shot off. And the Clippers have possession. The Rockets making the shot. Wade with it. Jones covering. It's stolen by Jones. Jumps up. Oh, oh ridiculous. What a move. Tore it down that time. <laughs> He's definitely showing some real sweet dunking skills here. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. What mm. a play. Yeah, that was spectacular. Clippers have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Throws up the alley-oop. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Guys, 
untidy. You've got to value the possession of the basketball. Yeah, I know you agree with that, Steve. Oh, totally. you got to play with control and composure, Kevin. The Clipper shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Griffin. The 17-footer goes down. Griffin's got four this quarter. And so it's Houston with it. Dishes it to Miller. Over Smith. And blocked. Over Bogut. And it's Smith missing. That's about simply persistence on defense. He wasn't about to let him get that shot off clean. I'll tell you what, he is a very determined defender. I mean, he does not believe in giving anybody an opening. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. One second left. Down goes the slam. Rock that rim. Gotta love that enthusiasm, folks. Not only Clark did he rock the rim, he decided to hang around a bit for that one, too. I love <laughs> yeah. it. What a finish. That was just gorgeous. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Rockets ahead, just dominating this one. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Fourth quarter getting going here. It's time for the Sprite Uncontainable Game. Doris Burke with the report. Hi, Doris. Thanks, Kevin. And it's the Rockets with the Uncontainable Game Award for the offensive stretch they put together. It's been a defensive clinic as they just can't help but get stops. The lead continues to grow for them as they look like they are allergic to getting scored on. Doris, thank you. And what a concerted effort they put together tonight. And, you know, that was really the uncontainable aspect in this game, Kevin. They got on the same page as a team and pretty much did what they wanted for the entire stretch. Well, clearly it's a different game without that scoring run. That was a game-changing run, no doubt. So with Griffin sitting on the bench, who's on the floor now for Vinny Del Negro. Jermaine O'Neal out there with Thompson. Then it's Odom, and it's Terry in at the point. Costly mistake at the other end to set up that fast break. That's what you want to do after the turnover. Push the ball up the floor and strike quickly. Here's Joe. Oh! Unbelievable. How did he do that? <laughs> Here's Wayans, and stolen by Miller. Hobbs the alley-oop pass. Flawless alley-oop that time. That's some real stylish basketball there. Almost looks like a play they've been rehearsing for a while. Well, that's the beauty of the alley-oop. It, it appears that way, but really, it's just timing and, and sort of a, an innate sense of awareness between two teammates. Pass to Wayans. He dishes it to Thompson. Here's Wayans. Can't get it to go. Tough D on the inside. Put up a roadblock, a construction barrel right there. That's what he brings defensively. Wasted no time on that one. He got that one, but he hasn't been producing the way we're accustomed to. He needs to look for a shot a bit more. This has been an offensive explosion, guys. They are on fire. How about a volcanic eruption, a flash fire? And defensively, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. They just hope that they cool off at some point. And stolen by Miller. Makes the alley-oop pass. Throws down the alley-oop slam. It's been a pretty tough stretch for them. Well, this is a really critical possession here. Kevin, it's essential that they put a stop to this run. And the Clippers making a switch here. Making night. Ball's knocked loose. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. Up high to stop the alley-oop.
And Clark, they've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, I think so. Too cool. I mean, just not forceful enough, not alert or aggressive enough, and sometimes trying to do too. much with the basketball well, sometimes you, you just got to make the easy pass somebody's open throw it to them when you do that multiple times the game starts to find a flow to itself and now running up the court Miller pushing it up feeds to Jones a three ball and a great assist by Miller as that one goes in Miller's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one you know for a player with his explosiveness that was ATM time. Cash <laughs> money. The easy way. Yeah, that kind of defense is not going to cut it against him. Cash money. I like that, Clark. And the Clippers making a change here. Carter's checked in. Scotty's checked in for Houston. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here we go, all alone. Oh, get it! Oh, oh, watch oh. out now! Oh. That's taking it strong right there. Yeah, finishing in style. Uh, you can feel a sense of anticipation when he heads for the hoop because that's what he can do. That was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Sprite. Outside Odom. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Jones is running. Here's Scott. And again, the Rockets good for two. Well, it's really hard to defend when you're trying to recover from turning the ball over. Yeah, that's because you can't get back in transition. and The offense can just come down and get an easy look on you. From out of nowhere, I mean, we've got a dunk maestro on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was something else. I don't know what got into him that time. Here's Odom. The Rockets making the shot. Carter, defended by Jones. It's two on one. Scott. Scott. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Oh! Oh, look at that. That is a... Bring him down the house. Well, what I like about him, Kevin, is his ability to shake a defender loose off the dribble and find a high-quality shot for himself. He is a very slippery player. That's exactly right, Steve. But also, he's a tremendous finisher. I mean, it doesn't matter if he draws contact on his way to the rim or not. He'll find a way to get it to go. Boy, that happened fast. Just the immediate bucket off the steal. Well, one of the things they have is the ability to score quickly after a turnover. The Clippers shooting it really well. 54% from the floor. Back to Odom. Now the pass to O'Neal. Carter outside. Five to shoot. Shot to end this cold run. Shot tonight. And now here comes Jones leading the break. When the big fella goes up like that, you better get out of the way. Now Odom gets stolen by Jones. From deep, and another three for Houston. They have no answer for him. He's just putting on a dominant display of offense. There's the dish to Thompson. Odom with a screen on Jones. Jones against Thompson. Now the feed to Carter. Tries again. And there's the rejection. Here's Jones. 
And he drew the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. And Carter picks one up. Take a look at what Magician's done. He has 17 points, and he's played the role of the pest today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch of turnovers. And those steals are all the evidence you need of just how high his basketball IQ is. He really sees the floor well defensively. And the Clippers making a switch here. And so here are the Clippers. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. Here's Jones. Oh, oh look out. Dang. The rim is shaking. The monster one-hand slam. Boy, are they on a tear. You know what, Steven? Offensively, you sometimes don't know how or why it happens, but you just ride the wave as long as it's flowing. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Kicks it to Jones. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. Looks like this one's over. They really played well tonight. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, we can take it out of the oven. This game is cooked. Knocked away. And it's going to be. out of bounds the Clippers will retain possession both teams deciding to change it up 146 left in the fourth quarter Terry against Jones down to five on the shot clock here's Wayans and he connects with the jumper Houston's gotten in the groove from three-point range. They are four for four since the third quarter ended. And that one's good. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. Here's the beast. Shot is no good. So the Clippers will take it the other way. And stolen by Scott. There's the three. Gets it to go. The Beast's got 16 points here in the second half. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. Here's Jones, and good on the basket. Book it. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a huge play. And they're closing this game out in style. I mean, I, I like what they're doing here, competing till the very end. That's certainly what it looks like. I mean, there's no let up in them so far. And the Clippers making a change here. 